Hello everyone and welcome back to Benchmark 2. In the last episode we got ourselves the bottom half of the mecha suit, the leggings and the boots on and it's helped me run really fast which is amazing. In this episode we are going to deal with a bit of a redstone problem we've been having. So I noticed there is in Botania there is a way to double your redstone, which is something I definitely want to do. It's going to cost quite a bit of mana, but I've got quite a big mana set up there. So, I've also would like to sort of automate this within the system, but I don't know how I would do that because I'd, I'd have to drop a redstone in, wait for it to change, and then pick it up. It might be a bit difficult, but anyway, what we need is this. Conjuring Catalyst here. So I don't want to pick up eggs. So what am I miss? What have I got? What am I missing? I've already got all most of it to be honest. Pixie Dust is by Amana Pearl. So we chuck a pearl in there, get Amana Pearl, and then we get our Pixie Dust. So that one is nice and easy. And then to get that, we need. Alchemy Catalyst. Okay, so if I make that and then that. What am I missing now? I'm missing the Living Rock now. And then I'm going to need the Redstone, obviously. Whatever Redstone I have, 11 pieces. But that's fine, I can soon double that into infinite amounts. I wish I'd discovered this sooner. I've been having a problem with it for a while. Right, these rocks should be going any minute now. This is our little rubber collection basin. There we go. So we pick those up and then Conjuring Catalyst. Easy as that. And then, so I chuck the redstone in. 22! Chuck it in again. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, this is great. I'm just going to keep spamming redstone in there. Are we out of mana? Right. Okay. But look at that. 11 redstone into all of that. This is where we turn our mana generation machine back on. I'm going to need to turn my magnet off. Try that again. So that's going to slowly start up. I need to make another elven mana spreader, really. And then... Have I got any living wood? I haven't. So I am going to need to make some. Alright, here we go. So we'll take out living wood. We'll put some more in here for to go again, because I will always need more. And then in there it goes. So that's the two elven mana spreaders I wanted. Right, so I want one of them pointing right into there, and then this one into that pool. I'm going to need my Wand of the Forest. Find that up to there. Just make sure that one's going in there. And then all these flowers, I'm going to need to connect up to this spreader. Right, so they're all connected up. Kind of interested in making some more of these endo flames as well to generate some. I wonder if I build... A dirt platform. Let's put my redstone away. Grab some dirt. If I were to build a little 3x3 three three dirt platform up here and stick an end of flame, would that reach to pick up the coal down there, I wonder? Or is that too far? It kind of feels too far. Um, how am I making these endo flames again? There, so two browns, one red, one light grey. Let me go flower picking. 
Right, I've picked all the flowers I needed. So now it's just a case of crafting them. Right, so that's that'll be them crafted now, which is great. So right, if I stick them up here, are they going to reach the charcoal, please? No, they're not. They would have got it already. That's a shame. Okay, I'm not giving up though. Because then my next plan is to dig underground and do it. Just want to make sure they're all getting it. Even this one right at the back here. I mean, it looks like they are because that one's got some. Great. And then I need another couple of the spreaders. So I'm going to need more wood, which is good because I've already got some. And I need a petal of some kind. I've got lots of this blue one here. Oh, and I need another ingot. So I believe it's just two of these mana ingots. Yes. And obviously I need more living wood. Right, here we go. And then into the portal you go. Right, so that's the two spreaders I want. So first of all, I want... It can probably reach up if I put one up here, can't it? So I only need one. I was going to craft... The reason I crafted two is because I'm going to have one here that shoots up to one up here, which then goes into the pool. But that one can probably reach. So I just need to get in there now. I wonder if I can sneak in with an end pearl. Yes, okay. Then I'm just going to configure all of them to that one there. Okay. So they're all configured then. So they're all going in there and that's going into the pool there. Fantastic. So this one is the only one keeping up with itself. Why is that? Why are these two so far behind? But that one's doing... I'm so confused because they all have nine going on them. There should be no more connections than, than the nine that's on there. It'd be nice if I could like shift right click and that glowed all the plants connected to it. Oh well, it's fine. It's keeping up enough, I think. From what I can tell, nothing's ever that full. And we've got loads of the charcoal blocks in here. And this farm is still functioning up here. So yeah, this should be able to build up mana very quickly. So whenever I'm in need of redstone, just come out here, chuck in what I can. There we go. See, like I got an extra 50 just then. So as long as the mana gets built up quick enough, then we'll be good. It would be nice to get in some more of these endo flames as well. But I don't even know where I'd put them now feel like I've taken up all the spaces I can. But 27 endo flames should generate mana pretty quickly, you would think. Okay, so now that I've got a bit more of a supply of redstone, I want to look at improving our power. I'm just upgrading our solar panels so this quantum one here will be a massive improvement. And all I need for that is UU matter, so I get that by putting scrap into a matter fabricator. So let's look at that. So matter fabricator. 
Right, okay. It looks, luckily, most of this, it looks like we have set up for autocrafts. So that should be fine. So industrial machine frames, I needed two of those. What else was it I needed? Energy flow chips, I needed four. I've already got two, so just two more of them. Um, Lapatronic energy orb, so eight Lapatron crystals. Well, that's a lot of redstone. I don't have the mana for that. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of redstone. And then the sap as well. Uh, why am I always struggling so much for redstone? Right, so I think it's time I put some effort into reducing the amount of redstone and rubber I need. And there are two ways I know of doing that. First one being, like, I don't know if I can shortcut to it here. Right. So circuits. Currently, I have them autocrafting like this, which requires the rubber to make the cables. But they also have a crafting recipe for electrum and silicon, which I will encode. And then for the redstone, I will also encode the glowstone to redstone, which will then get helium. Although I had it in my head that this also gave me silicon. So maybe I shouldn't do, because I don't have much of the silicon cells. How am I crafting them as well? I'm crafting them from redstone. Right, there's got to be a better way of getting the silicon cells. Let me look into that. Right, okay, so I've figured it out. So I can get silicon from quartz dust and carbon cells. I can get the carbon cells from the ashes I've been building up. So that will use up all that resource there. And when that's when I've run out of ashes, I can then also just straight up turn coal dust into it there. So I've already started setting up the patterns here. So we've got the silicon cell one there, and then for the carbon cell, that one there. Ashes also do need to be turned in turned from dark ashes, which is the one I've got. So that should be a better way of making the silicon cell. I've already forgotten what machines I need to put this in. So the ashes into the carbon cell is the centrifuge. Where's my centrifuge? There we go. And then the ashes from dark acid is also the centrifuge. And then the silicon cell is in the blast furnace. So now if I try and craft silicon cells, what's it's still trying to do the redstone bit, so let's get rid of that. Which machine was that in? This one? No. That one. Okay. So let's take that out because we don't want to use up all our redstone. That's another thing that will be using up the redstone. Uh, quartz dust, I didn't encode that, did I? So that needs to go in the grinder. The grinder does need another pattern provider, so let's quickly make that. Right, and I should just be able to stick that here, no problem. And that should work. Okay, and then the redstone that we're doing. That is also the centrifuge, isn't it? Yep, so then the industrial centrifuge again for the redstone. And then using the silicon plate to make the advanced circuit. I'm pretty sure that's the blast furnace. No, it won't be. It'll be the assembling machine, I think. We'll have to check that. 
yeah, the assembling machine here. And then if we go through here and we move, remove, can I search for circuit? I can't. So I'm going to need to scroll through here and find it in the crafting section. There it is. That one. So we'll take, I'll take this one and put it down there. So still filled up. Okay, so now if we test, like crafting one of these things, is that, look at the difference on the redstone requirements there, and, and the sap. So that is a huge difference there, with low on platinum dust, unfortunately. So what was that? That was the chest plate. I wonder if we'd have enough platinum for the helmet. No, so we're missing quite a lot of platinum dust, but the redstone requirements has been greatly reduced. Where even is the redstone? Yeah. And it's going to craft the difference as well. So that is a massive change. Right, so back to what I was doing. What even was I doing? I was going to get myself some UU matter, wasn't I? So this was all to get to the matter fabricator. I've gotten myself a little bit confused. I did set the autocrafts, but I have cancelled them off recently, so I need to redo them. And then it should just be, I need to autocraft these things myself. So I can get myself a couple of the standard frames. And then I need a couple circuits. So yeah, I definitely should have done this sooner gotten myself the redstone autocraft set up and then swapped out the silicon to be made with ashes and the electronic circuits being made with silicon. That was definitely a smart move there. Should have done it a lot sooner though. Uh, we're missing the platinum dust for that. That's a shame. But where have all my Lafatron crystals gone? I, I quested eight. Were they used in the craft for something else? Okay, I've been in the end for quite a while now, just mining away. Um, almost out of food now, so I'm going. I have gotten so much shell the night there, which I needed. I've also got a bit of tungsten, but I wasn't really worried about that, nor the sol solder light. I've, I've mined like one or and then gave up on that. But I found a few dungeons as well and got some extra loot, but the shell the night is the main thing I was here for. I've got a bit of a theory as well. So for a while, if we zoom out on the map here, and let it load in. For a while I was just going around the edges of the island here and I wasn't really finding much and then I decided to come all the way out here and I was finding a lot more the further I came out. So I, I'm thinking the further away you are from the main island the more likely you are to find Sheldonite. That's what I've been doing and it seems to be working well like here I found a few patches quite close together But yeah, I do need to head home now because the food situation. Just quickly have a little browse round. Oh, there's a tower here as well. So that should be an easy way to get back out here when I need to go mine for some more. Uh, I'll take those. Right, let's head back home then. Um, I'll use my wand. And then, oh, I'm stuck in the air again. Fantastic. Might, the lift might be able to save me. But I should now be able to go. No, I'm still floating, which is annoying. Let's get everything we've gathered in here. Whole bunch of ender pearls as well. Some TNT because there was like a, um, a temple in the end. Okay, can I please have that? Yes. Okay, that should, that should fix my floatingness. And then if we stick, so the Sheldonite needs mercury. So if we stick it in here. 
Is that enough now to craft what I needed? So was it the matter fabricator it was, wasn't it? So it was the iridium plates that I needed, iridium alloy plates. Yes, I have enough for that now. Oh, but I'm out of power. Anyway, I am going to call the episode here. Thank you for watching, and in the next episode, we'll carry on towards gathering Yu Yu Matter. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.